Hello and welcome to this week's edition of CTN Community Update. Coon Rapids soccer players and fans have been busy this week as the largest soccer tournament in the Western Hemisphere brought together athletes from across the globe. CTN's Jennifer Anderson spent some time at the Schwann's USA Cup in Blaine. With the cheering section out in force, the CR United strikers join more than a thousand teams at the Schwann's USA Cup. Enthusiasm is high as this team from Coon Rapids takes on a team from Mexico. They've been working so hard. Yeah, they beat a lot of teams that, you know, they play with. So, yeah, we, we, we're so proud of them. 20 different states, 20 different countries, and four Canadian provinces make up this year's roster for the massive annual tournament at the National Sports Center in Blaine. Well, I think it shows them um, a different dynamic to the game and how it's different um, internationally versus in the U.S. And um, I think they'll definitely learn um, where they can improve. So it's a good learning experience for them. For the players. Just everybody's different. They have a different way of playing. It's a window into the world away from home. It was kind of funny. They could understand everything we were saying, but we couldn't understand what they were saying. Una, dos, tres. But it wasn't just a day of differences. The players found common ground too. For me, good because that means that we are bonding and that's cool for me. It's really awesome playing in the USA Cup because the other teams that we be playing with, they're nice, they're physical, they're passionate, they want to win this just like how we want to win it. And it's just a blast. For CTN Update, I'm Jennifer Anderson. The Schwann's USA Cup makes quite an economic impact as well. Organizers estimate that the tournament generates roughly $36 million from hotel and restaurant visits, tourism, and other local tax revenue. Coon Rapids High School has a new activities director. Tom Develis recently took over the position and is looking forward to working with students and staff this fall. He comes from Blaine High School, where he spent the last 20 years as a teacher and coach. Having the opportunity the last two weeks to meet with a lot of the coaches and a lot of the advisors of our activities, um, I see a lot of passion. I see a lot of people who are in it for the kids and what they want to make a difference in kids' lives, and I mean, that's exciting. You can hear more from Joe Yund and Howie Shapiro's interview with Devilis on the current edition of Sports Night, which airs daily right here on CTN. You think he survived that at the speed of light with his heart blowing up and burning up? No way. Lots of learning and fun this week for dozens of kids who took part in the annual safety camp at the Coon Rapids Ice Center. The children who are entering fourth and fifth grade this fall got numerous safety lessons, everything from fire and electrical safety to bicycle and water safety. The camp is topped off with a special graduation ceremony. We'll have much more from safety camp coming up in just a few minutes on CTN Spotlight. An annual event that brings together neighbors in the fight against crime is just a couple weeks away. This year's Night to Unite will take place the evening of Tuesday, August 7th. Each year, more than 100 block parties are registered with the city, which entitles those groups to special visits from the Coon Rapids Police and Fire Departments, along with promotional materials. You can find a registration form on the city's website, coonrapidsmn.gov. New this year, participants are being asked to post photos from their Night to Unite parties on social media with the hashtag SafeNeighborhoodsCR for a chance to win prizes. There will also be a coloring contest for kids. Riverfest returned to Anoka last weekend, marking the 20th year for the festival and craft fair. And as CTN's Dan Carpenter found out, this time there were even more options for those looking to take home something unique and handcrafted. Near the banks of the Rum River. Union Herald, clean, are you good? Good, yes. Thank you. Anoka Chamber of Commerce President, Peter Turok. Yeah, this is good for early checks in on the hundreds of artists How are ya? and craft makers that make Riverfest a unique Minnesota experience. People have to prove that they made this stuff themselves um, and you know we, we get the opportunity to be a little picky. This year there were more than 170 ways to spend your cash. And then we also make little um, piggy banks out of recycled propane tanks. For the past 20 years 
It's handcrafted art like this. We have the glasses set up on magnets so you could switch out whatever flavor of beer or pop you'd like. That brings thousands of people to the city of Anoka. It's been fun to see uh, the, the diversity of the arts, that's for sure. Behind every item is a story. Yesterday I had swarms of probably 30,000, 40,000 bees around me. Yet not a single sting resulted from harvesting this batch of honey. I was a biology teacher, so I've always been interested in wild things. The Anoka Chamber of Commerce says Riverfest is more than a one-day event, but a chance to draw visitors to the city again and again. The goal is, is that, yeah, I was at that event, but I found this cool store. You should go there. That's the whole reason we do it. Visitors are finding many reasons to return. Um, and we come here antiquing, actually. And yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of we love the downtown that. area. Reporting from the banks of the Rum River in Anoka, Dan Carpenter for CTN Update. Artists and crafters interested in participating in Riverfest next year are encouraged to apply after the first of the year. For more information, visit anokariverfest.org. Anoka is gearing up for another annual event that's a big draw. We're, of course, talking about the Anoka County Fair. This year's fair runs from July 24th through the 29th. Admission covers entry into the fair, as well as the grandstand events. Children six and under are free. In addition to midway rides, food and games, there's live entertainment, shows and other activities, including 4-H. The grandstand features motocross, bull riding, a tractor pull, an ATV big air event, and a demolition derby. Looks like a lot of fun to be had out there. That's gonna bring us to the end of today's show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here again next week.